I am back in one of my absolute favorite places to be. A place of iconic wildlife, beautiful vistas, and harsh, harsh weather. I am in Yellowstone National Park. Follow along with me and let's see what we can find. I'm out here right now with a group of bison, probably the most iconic species out here in Yellowstone. Um, it's fun because in the winter time there's so much snow on top of their food, they actually use their heads to plow the snow aside and get the grass underneath. It's always amazed me just the crazy amounts of snow they're able to move just to get a couple mouthfuls of grass. So I'm just out here watching them right now. Uh, I'm going to get some pictures if I can. Um, for years, I, coming out here, anytime I'd see bison, I'd just kind of drive past them and look for something else. But the last couple of years, I've really gotten more of an appreciation for them and how how majestic and pretty they are. Uh, so I'm just trying to get a couple pictures of them here today, and we'll we'll see what we can get here. Well, I am out here with some bighorn sheep. Uh, there's three of them, three rams. They're pretty good sized. Uh, they're just eating right now. I'm keeping my distance. I don't want to bother them too much. But uh, yeah, in the winter, these sheep, they come down from higher elevations. They'll come down lower where there's less snow and they'll paw through the snow to get the grass underneath. And that's what they live off of in the winter time, so. Um, it's getting pretty late in the morning now. They're probably going to bed down here soon, but uh, yeah, it's just fun. Fun seeing them. We don't get rams this size very often in the area that I usually go photograph bighorns, so it's good to see some, some bigger rams. And as always, it's always fun to be with them.
Well, I just finished up with those bighorn sheep. It was awesome. Um, they, uh, they just ate the whole time, but I was able to get some pretty cool images, I think. Uh, they stood in front of this little mountain peak, so I was able to get a couple more landscapey images. Um, I hope they turned out. It was kind of kind of tricky exposing with snow but yeah, anyways um, I just finished with those bighorn sheep uh, so I'm gonna head back to the vehicle now and we'll see what else I can find I guess the, uh, the day is still young and I'm hoping I can Find a bunch of bunch of animals. All right, let's go. Good morning. Uh, please excuse my uh, face mask here. Um, it is so cold. <laughs> Last night it was below negative 25. That's the lowest my uh, thermometer goes. And uh, it, it was all the way down and it is cold today. Uh, I've got some elk behind me, just some uh, cow elk on this this hill behind me so I just stopped for a minute to uh, get a little bit of video of them there's a river below me and some steam coming up from it so I was gonna get some video of that too it's just beautiful out here as cold as it is it is gorgeous so uh, I'm gonna get some video here and then I'm gonna keep going see if I can find something uh, really looking for a fox something like that so we'll see what we can find looking for uh, foxes right now, red foxes. Um, absolutely love getting them in the snow if I can. Just that contrast of the bright red fur and uh, the uh, white, it's, it's beautiful if you can get them. Uh, they can be tricky to find, and uh, more they can be really easy to find, so uh, it's, it's been a little bit trickier so far. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what we can find. Th this forest terrain is kind of some, it, it's some of my uh, favorite terrain to find them in. Uh, it's just fun if you can get them in these trees as well. So I'm gonna keep going. I've seen a couple uh, sets of tracks here and there. They're pretty old though. 
uh, oh, within the last two days or so, but uh, I'm gonna keep going and we'll see what we can find. So I was able to find a red fox. Uh, he's just curled up and sleeping right now. They're so pretty in the snow like this. I love it. Just that contrast like I was saying. Um, this is a different area than where I was looking before. I'm just glad that I was able to find one though. Uh, like I say, he's pretty relaxed. He's just sleeping here. But the wind's starting to pick up a bit and he's starting to stir. So I'm hoping maybe he'll get up and go hunting or, you know, do something. But uh, if he wants to sleep, I'm totally fine with that. Just fun spending time with them. Uh, like I would mentioned before, they can be pretty tricky to find or they can be pretty easy to find. And what I mean by that is I've been out here before on trips where I've spent days just looking for foxes and I haven't been able to find any. And then there's other times where I'll be, you know, driving along a road at night uh, or, you know, after the sun's gone down and there's a fox just running across the road or along the road and uh, you'll you'll see him. See you later dude. At times like that it's just you can't really photograph him because the sun's already down or you know the light's awful but um, you look hard enough and you'll you'll find him but uh, I'm just glad to be here with this little guy and uh, looks like he's settling back down so if he wants to sleep I'll just I'll uh, be happy with that and let him sleep. It's just fun to be out here with him. That was awesome. Um, like I had said, I was with that fox and I was just watching him sleep there. And I was kind of standing behind this bigger tree and uh, I went and peeked around the other corner or peeked around the side of the tree and I saw another pair of ears. And uh, I, it's like one of those times where you see something and you kind of acknowledge it, but at the same time you don't. So I, I look over and then I look back because I kind of realized what I had saw. And uh, it was a bobcat just sitting there by this tree. Um, he hadn't seen me because I was, I was behind this bigger tree. So by the time I got my camera around, I got a, a quick picture of him. But he, he noticed me and then he, he just got up and slowly went off. Um, so I wasn't able to get any video of him, but I got a quick picture. But that's just one of the things I love about being out here is the diversity of wildlife that you can see um, I'll be honest, the bobcats, that's the first time I've seen one out here. I've been out here so many times, and that's the first time I've seen a bobcat out here. But it's just awesome 
to know that you're in an area where you can see so many different types of animals like that. Um, it was just awesome to see that. I, I love it out here. I'm gonna keep going now and uh, see what else I can find. Whenever you filter water here in Yellowstone, you always want to keep in mind that there's a lot of geysers and thermal features, uh, and that water, it, you don't want to drink that water. It's pretty gross stuff, um, and I'm speaking from experience here. I made the mistake once of filtering from a river that uh, had some, some thermal features that flowed into it. it. It wasn't super concentrated, but it was gross. And my stomach did not like that. So uh, yeah, always want to make sure you're filtering good water here. Well, my time out here at Yellowstone is at an end. What an amazing trip I've had. These last few days have been awesome. I've seen so many different animals. Got to spend time with bison, foxes, coyotes, those bighorn sheep. Uh, saw some moose, elk, my first bobcat. Got to spend time with an otter for a couple of minutes. It's been so much fun. What an awesome trip this has been. I absolutely love it out here. Like I've said before, just this diversity of wildlife that you can find in such a relatively small area is just amazing. Uh, as you come out here to visit though and see these awesome animals, you need to remember to respect them. They may be more tolerant than animals in other places, but we still need to respect them, give them their space, don't push them, uh, be ethical as you observe them and photograph them. That's what makes these places so special. Uh, just that, that special diversity and we have to help preserve and protect that. Uh, such an amazing place. Uh, like I mentioned, I'm not sure when I'm gonna get back. Hopefully later this year, I've got some fun plans uh, that I'm, I'm hoping to do. I have some fun projects to do out here. So I'm hoping to get back here in the next few months, but we'll see, you never know. I'm gonna head back home now. It's always hard leaving, but at the same time, I'm, I'm excited to see my family again after these few days and uh, 
yeah, start on some other projects that I've got going. As always, I appreciate the support. Please let me know if you have any comments, feedback, suggestions, and I'm more than happy to uh, look into those and uh, reply to any questions that you may have. Just let me know in the comments, and uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I always appreciate the support and uh, I try to come out with content that you'll enjoy on a weekly basis. And uh, on that note, we'll see you next week. Bye.